I was not playing. I know you're not playing, babe. <laughs> I know you're not playing, babe. I'm about to answer you. Okay, thank y'all for being here today. First of all, why avocados are bad for blood type O? Well, it's, it's simply why tomatoes, I'm a bee, why tomatoes and chicken, the same concept, or so-called bad for me. And I don't want to say that they're bad. You know, they have been, a, you know, these things that are so-called not so good for us can be beneficial in other ways. But everything have a purpose in the physical reality. But I tell you to you like this here, you're, um, it doesn't agree with your blood type. So basically what it is, is that our blood is magical. Our blood has memory, just like we have memory. We're infinite intelligence, but we just in the 10% of our brain capacity right now, where we didn't forgot the all knowing the infinite intelligence that we're made of and that we stem from. We forgot the fact that we picked our blood type. We picked our parents. We chose our life because we, at a certain point we were 100% of brain capacity. And it's like when we play a game, it's the game of life. When you play a game in our physical reality with the controller, you pick your car, you pick your scenery, you pick how your avatar go maneuver in the game. Well, you kind of did that when you were in the non-physical, you know, just to experience yourself because you're God in physical form experiencing itself. And since you chose a certain blood type, the old type, the original uh, gods, the first man in physical reality, you chose to come forward as the meat eater, as the hunter, and you chose certain fruits and vegetables, not many fruits, just a bunch of meats and um, vegetables pretty much that would kind of like activate and be positive or beneficial for your blood type. And so when your blood interacts, since it has memory, and just like we have memory, when your blood interacts with certain foods, it creates either a positive or a negative response to them. Avocados is one of the things that it creates a negative response to. Therefore, you should not be consuming those things. But then you have a plethora of other fruits and vegetables that's available on my website, on the meal list, um, um, of beneficial foods that when your blood interacts with them, they create digestive enzymes inside of you. They clear up your gut. They help fight the bad bacteria. You know, they help with your microbiome, the integrity of your gut where 70 to 80 percent of your immunity lies and gives you life. It, it helps you thrive. It helps you keep your high amount of hydrochloric acid and necessary enzymes in your digestive system, which helps you go to the bathroom and release toxins and waste that you are not using or not beneficial for your body. But when you eat the avocados though, since your blood is infinite intelligence is intelligence and it has memory, when you eat them, it causes inflammation. And if you keep eating them and don't change your diet because your blood remembers it and it's gonna constantly um try to rob Peter to pay Paul to save your life, well one day it's gonna run out you know it's gonna go all to your bones and stuff you know you'll bruise easily and stuff you'll get authorized it'll send you all kind of sicknesses and disease but one day it might run out because you're not giving it the beneficial stuff you're staying over there with the avocado that's causing the inflammation and then you'll end up experiencing dick's ease or maybe the inflammation gets so bad that you will have a hole in your gut called leaky gut syndrome maybe it'll get worse than that and then the leaky gut the hole in your gut it'll begin to waste food out of this hole and then it'll leak into your abdominal cavity and then you'll end up having something called kidney disease if you keep on going and get, at get so ascetic you could actually get so ascetic where you have a life-threatening disease like cancer like right and then, uh, and then the, the journey just goes on. It's negative from that because once you get the cancer, then the doctor's going to give you something even more ascetic called chemo to try to put the cancer out. Meanwhile, if you would have ate the right foods and left the avocados alone, you could have went in more alkaline state of being instead of being so ascetic. And you could have thrived off of eating your meats and your vegetables like a O is supposed to kind of like be in the physical reality. I, I, I hope that helps. So, I mean, it is, it's two roads diverted. And I, I chose the road less traveled by and it has made all of the difference. And so you got you standing at the fork in the road and you decide. Because some people, even the A's, the A's, you know, they really are worse off. I think, to be honest with you, I think the O's really are um, thriving because they can eat the most meats and vegetables. They have fruit. 
but it's very minimum amount of fruit. They have to stay away from dairy, but those things don't serve hardly nobody. <laughs> really, to be honest with you, the dairy. Um, the dairy is causing like the AIDS, for example, excess mucus, you know, they producing mucus in the middle of the night, you know, when they wake up in the morning, they hawking, you know, they don't have no highly beneficial meats, you know, it could always be worse. There's always somebody worse off than you, you know that? I think you're blessed. I think the thing is that we fell in love, it's almost like one of them relationships. You fall in love and you just so, you're so just used to how this man do things, whatever. Even though he ain't no good for you. I mean, maybe you like his swag, maybe. You know, maybe you like the fact that he in that white tee and them Tims, maybe. But he don't make, he don't give you no money. He don't, he, he don't, he don't pour into you. He don't have nothing to give you, you know, but you like him. Like, it's, ooh, you think it's something about him. But then you grow up, you evolve, and you let that man go. And then you, ooh, you find a new love. You find a new love and, oh, he pours into you. He listens. He know how to effectively communicate to you. It's like he speaks to your soul. It's like, oh my God, I, I don't know, understand why I was in love with him who never poured into me. Maybe I was whipped. I don't know what it was. Maybe I was whipped with him. But this one right here, oh my God, it ain't even about the sex. It's like we have this soul connection. That's just kind of like the relationship you have with food. Some people are just in that toxic relationship with food that's killing them. But they don't want to let go of that thing. But there's foods that will give them life. <laughs> that speak to their soul actually actually the food is speaking to their their blood it's connecting with their blood and it's like oh my god did you feel that oh that that tastes so delicious that felt so nutritious that activated my already electric body i i wish i would have been new about this here food right here i'm regular now i can see now i don't have sickness and disease i don't lost weight and everything i never knew of this love <laughs> You get me? I mean, that's this is the relationship that we should have with food. This is the relationship that we should sever with the food that is not serving us and embrace the ones that are. Because there are a plethora of ones, some you probably never even tasted before. And I think it's an I feel like it's an exciting journey to embrace those things that are beneficial for you. Look at Brandy. Bless you, Brandy. Brandy, Brandy just um walked into a new life. Brandy just purchased the milk plan for our blood type. Bless you, Brandy. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations, Brandy. <laughs> yeah, let's see. There's a hole in the house. There's a hole in the house. <laughs> hey, God, there's some O's in this house. There's some O's in this house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wasn't playing. Okay, I read that one already. Okay. Yeah. That's beautiful, crazy. I never thought about your blood type and how even fruits and veggies affect it, good or bad. Yeah, even the fruits and vegetables. So it ain't just, you know, everybody got to stop eating the meat. Like the people be saying, like, O's, no, O's be looking at people like that say that, like, what? Because O's probably don't know how to articulate that. But O's like, nah, I can't see, I can't see me not eating no meat no more. That don't, that don't sound right. <laughs> but then they have them O's that'll go and do it. They'll go and do it, and then, and then that'll be the ones that about two or three years later, I, I tried that vegan thing. I, I had to come back to the meat. It was something about it. I'm telling you what it is. It's the blood, and then and the blood always mattered. In religion, it was always about the blood. Remember, we I come up in church. Remember that song? Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood has signed my name. Well, guess what? After you change your diet, you realize that it was about the blood because you get the mental clarity, you get the energy. You know, you you have ears then, and you could hear. You have eyes, not these eyes right here. You have your first eye because you'll be tapped back into your all knowing, the infinite intelligence that you stem from. And then you have eyes, and you're seeing again. And then you'll say, you'll say, can't you see? Can't you see? Can't you see what the blood has done? Let me show you something. Let me show you something when I first, let me see if I could pull it up. Bear with me for a second. I'm going to show you when I first let go, when I first became a vegan. Well, I'll, I'll say vegan, but um, wait, wait, let me go through these pictures and see. Let me see. When I first became a vegan and that word just fell off of me. And, um, I mean, it was instant when I let go of the so-called meats and things that wasn't serving me. 
Wait, let me show you the before first. This is this is like before pictures right here. I was a little thicker. Oh wait, let me show you that I, I used to wear glasses too. You see me wearing my glasses in the office? Yeah, I used to sit down a lot and lean over a lot because I was I was a little you know thicker than I had ever been, right? So um, here I you know I'm only five two in a physical reality. So when I say thick, I mean congested. I I mean mucus. I mean I couldn't breathe. I couldn't run. I didn't have energy. And then here we go when I first lost the weight here and I. And I, um, my son encouraged me to write my first book right here. I was at Barnes and Noble. That's me when I, when I have no so-called meat on my bones. And then I started, um, see how my collarbones stick out and stuff when I'm tiny. <laughs> but what I do, I, I still don't consume that much meat because I don't really like meat. I only eat meat maybe four times a year, if that. But I don't really like meat particularly. But I'll do um, turkey sometimes throughout the year. And that's when I started um, working out and stuff and tone and whatever, like right. But um, but that's that's kind of like my journey, how my journey went for my um, for eating for my blood type, okay. It was a long journey, and in the beginning, you know, you know, I was going through them phases, what y'all talking about, like, but I'm just gonna be a vegan. But no, I'm a be, and actually, I do. According to my blood, well, I can rather eat meat. I can't even eat dairy. Like, right? I am the most um, diverse one of the blood types. And what I learned about that moment when I wasn't eating the meat is that I wasn't able to keep weight on me. And so I ran to um, coconut oil. I ran to coconut oil for my healthy fats and my amino acids. That's the reason why I look like this. Remember, I just showed you the picture of when I when my collarbones and stuff are sticking out. Well, the only reason why I'm a little bit more plump now is because I consume coconut oil for years to keep the so-called fat on me. If not, I'll be, you know, I'll be back at my little regular 115, kind of like 120 normal size. But I like, you know, a little bit of thickness on me. You know, I didn't like wearing a zero. Or, uh, you know, I didn't like chopping in the kitty section, you know. So that was, that was the, that's the thing that I have been doing over the years. Even, even though, even though, um, even though some people might not agree with that, but I just love consuming my coconut, coconut water, my coconut um, oils, because it feels good to me. Okay. So do what feels good to you. Do what feels good to you. But in all you're getting, get an understanding of your blood type, okay? That's the most important thing. Don't walk around in the physical reality not eating for your blood type. And then, you know, you get in sickness and disease. And you and you blaming everybody besides yourself. Because nobody goes to the grocery store with you all, all or even with me. You know, nobody forcing us to put this stuff in our mouth but ourselves. The government not doing this to nobody. So up here, I want to share with you all real quick. I have, um, this is just in case you're new here. This is the Elden at Home Kit at the bottom, the very last line item. That's how you find out what your blood type is. Because I get that question a lot and I just wanted to put that up on the screen for a minute. The Elden, E-L-D-O-N at Home Kit. You just go to Amazon and you order that kit. And it'll come to your house. It'll come with a little needle in there for you to prick your ring finger. You prick your ring finger in the privacy of your home. Three minutes later, you know your blood type. And once you know your blood type, then you can you can purchase a seven-day meal plan for your blood type, which includes all of the highly beneficial foods. It includes a list in category um, of all your nuts, your seeds, your meats, your seed foods, or whatever you can eat based upon your blood type that is highly beneficial for you. There's also a instant cheat, a weight loss cheat code available on my website. A website is at the very top, saltoftheearthpub.org. Then you have the herbal potion for your blood type. Those are herbs and oils that really will unclog your liver, unclog your kidneys, unclog your large and small intestines. Once you put those herbs in your highly beneficial oil together, now you have your natural antibiotic, antifungal, antimicrobial, antiviral concoction that you just made at home whenever you get sick or just to get a jump start on your health you could begin to consume your herbal potion to get rid of the parasites to balance the digestive enzymes in your gut and so that you could thrive again 
you know, to get rid of all of that yeast and bacteria from all of the, the, maybe the weed or whatever it was that was not beneficial. Maybe the mucus, if you're A and the dairy that's clogging you up. It'll show you step by step, day by day. Okay, this is an example for breakfast. This is an example for lunch and dinner. Here's a herbal tea. Here's a snack. Here's some nuts. Here's the oil you need when you're cooking. Everything is in the seven day meal plan, including the, the um actually the herbal potion is also in the seven day meal plan. Everything is there for you whenever you're ready though. But you gotta be ready. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay, crazy. I never thought about you, blood type. Okay, okay, wait. I read that one already. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Respect. Yeah, yes, you are so welcome. How do you feel about gluten free products for O's? All right, let me get this here over the screen right quick. Let me do the effects. Take, uh, take it off. Okay, I'm back. All right, perfect. Now let me move this up. That's my website, minus the dot org. TikTok wouldn't make, let me put the .org for some reason. Saltoftheearthpub.org. So what do I feel about the gluten-free products? I feel like that stuff's still garbage, though. I feel like it's still, just garbage. Just leave the stuff alone. That man-made stuff, just leave that stuff alone. Get that stuff to the people that don't know no better. You, you in too deep now. You know about it. <laughs> and So it goes, you know, thought. We're conscious beings. So... It goes both ways. This is not just um, physical, just doing this. You, you, your thought, your thought is powerful too. So just the fact that you know already about the weed, and then you're gonna go to the gluten, and you know that man-made stuff is is really the thing that's really messing up everybody. That's gonna be in your thought when you eat it. It's really not so much of what. It's not 100% of what people put in their mouth. It's a thought when that they have when they put in their mouth, and that's what being conscious and waking up is all about you you ain't going back <laughs> because now it's gonna hurt you it's gonna hurt you to fall back <sighs> you they have they have this rap song talking about um my foot shift ground when i when i broke soil i didn't look back because every time i i did it would hurt more something like that my son listened to that thing but then when i heard that verse when he was listening to this rap song i was like oh is this person conscious or whatever but yeah Every time I look back, it's just going to hurt more. If you're conscious of it, if you're conscious of the, the toxic food and you look back at, oh, let me just try this a little bit, it's going to get you. Let me tell you a story about me. Years ago, I hadn't had Wendy's in, in about seven years at this t at that time, right? And I was on my lunch break and I had a vegan meal, but I was rushing. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to Wendy's and I'm going to get that spicy chicken sandwich that I used to get years ago. Mind you, I hadn't had it in seven years, right? I go to the drive-thru. Worst experience of my life. This is me looking back now. I go to the drive-thru. I got the spicy chicken sandwich, and I got me some french fries. I bit into the freaking sandwich, and they had plastic that I ch I was choking while driving. Choking on plastic. And and I'm, and I was trying to chew it to get it to, you know, crumble because I was thinking it was a piece of lettuce. <laughs> I thought it was a piece of lettuce, but it started suffocating me in the back of my mouth. I had to put my hand in the back of my mouth and pull it out. And when I pulled it out, it was chewed on and it had a little mayo on that thing. And it looked slimy. And in my mind, I'm driving, but I had to pull over on the side of the road because I thought this thing that I pulled out of my mouth was a freaking condom. It looks so, you know how a condom that has been used like... It looks, because the mayonnaise, you know, and the saliva and stuff. And I'm pulling it out, and, it, and I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, my God. And this, this scared the crap out of me. But there I go, looking back. That was me looking back. And I guess, guess what? I ain't looked back ever since just to see how it tastes. And it cost me information for looking back. It, it made me feel bad looking back. I knew too much. So when you know too much and you begin to look back, you're going to stumble. Because it's going to be your thoughts telling you, your subconscious thoughts going to show you you. You're always going to run into what you're thinking in your subconscious mind. <laughs> so go on look back if you want to. That looking back stuff ain't healthy. It ain't healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Ben. So thank you, thank you. Yes, because I honestly don't even like bread like that. Yeah, because when you, you think about how you feel after you eat these things. These things swelling us up anyway. Man, I done got to a point with, with that darn bread. 
I be telling telling my partner all the time. I'm like, oh no, but, but that bread though. How, why are you doing that? The bread. And I be so serious because the last time I had it, it made me suffocate. Like I'm like, oh no. And then and then to see a person, you know, how people be eating like the bread, and then they gotta take a oh, one of them gulps like that. I'm like, look at you. What did you do with? And then they got to hurry but drink a whole bunch of water just to get it from right here. It's suffocating you. You don't get it? <laughs> it's dehydrating you. And you st and we still be trying to force it down the throat. Just like, oh, I got to get. <gasps> That's how you be looking when you're just eating a piece of bread. Foods for your blood type don't make you feel like that. They don't. Yeah, eat to live. I purchased your meal plan. Look at you. Look at you, Key. Go ahead on, Key. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. I love that spiritual connection with the food we eat. Love it. Yeah. And when you get that spiritual connection, because a lot of people are disconnected from themselves, not to mention from the food that they eat. Because it's like, um... We, we eating, I keep looking y'all, I'm a bird lady, I keep looking because my birds out there eating, I love birds and they right there by the door, just to let you know what I'm looking at, but we be eating all kind of, at all kind of times, like in the car, for example, what I was just talking about, you know, on our lunch break, we trying to eat and multitask, because we don't have a relationship or connection, we don't, we don't, because we're not in the now, we ain't paying attention to the fact that immediately when you put that thing on your tongue your body told you something but you just chewed it because you was talking to somebody and you wasn't listening to yourself there's a connection that's going on your blood has memory your body speaks to you the cells of your body at a cellular level are alive yeah they're part of you all things are energy this phone is energy. This countertop is energy. This silver, this um, towel is energy. Everything is moving and vib vibrating just at a different frequencies. So, so your blood, your cells are alive. And when we go against them, we cast them away. We destroy them. We destroy them. <laughs> and then we go to the doctor. And the doctor is asking you every time you go to the doctor, they say, on a scale of zero to ten, how do you feel? Because how you feel matters. Do you feel like you're destroying yourself? Or do you feel like you're putting life inside of you? That, that's, the two, that's the two things that were governed underneath life and death. Because there's a law of polarity. The good and bad. Yin and the yang. Black and white. The law of polarity runs this physical reality. So you're always choosing. You're always choosing. Make the right choice. Make the right choice consciously and go with it. She said, I'm 5'2 also. Well, at least when I woke up. That is too funny. Yeah. <laughs> the video of your products or info help with infertility. All of them do. Because if you think about it, I'm not being ugly. That, that All of this leads to toxicity, mucus overload, and and parasites in the body and our doctors don't teach us this here and when we clean up our body our hormones get back in bad let me tell you something as a vegan when i went when i first started even now like um how many people oh they only got a couple of people up here i'll, I'll say it <laughs> i didn't want to say it too, too many people as a vegan let me tell you Going from getting rid of those um, hormones that they have in the chicken, for example, the hormones in the foods, the hormone estrogen mimickers that man puts inside of the food, when you release that out of your body, which is the, really the trigger, you know, the yellows and blues and red dyes, different numbers, they, those are the things that really cause that infertility, infertility, infertility issue inside of people. And so, even even down in the shampoos, what you put in your head, yeah, all of that stuff, that man is manipulated. But when you be, when I became a vegan, all of my herbs was giving me like an aphrodisiac response, like right. I'm talking about on another level, and I ain't that type of person. I'm talking about walking 
in the back of the store looking at the men and not understanding in the beginning of my journey what the heck was going on but thinking about little Wayne a little rap song where he said I wish I could every girl in the world for the first time when that first happened to me I remember it like it was yesterday I was looking at the men like oh my god I wish I could be with all of the men in the world and what the hell is wrong with me why am I acting like this here it's because of blood flow when you think about an infraction you think about um a penis for example why am I talking low I don't know but you think about men with erections that ain't nothing for but blood flow and so when they get there erectile dysfunction it's because of the mucus it's because of the toxins and the parasites it's because of the, of the inability to let the blood flow and it's the same thing with women because when i begin to detox my body and had and consume more herbs and more fruit everything was flowing baby everything get to flowing you be feeling stuff that you 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 would think only you feel this here kind of stuff when you're having sex, but you just be walking and you're feeling this stuff flowing and tingling, okay? <laughs> so yeah, so from your your soaps detoxing you, I have a detox soap called Be Nourish. The soap detox can detox you because your skin is an organ, which you put on your skin penetrates inside your body too. And then I have the sustained detox that gets into the large and small intestines and heal you at a cellular level. Detox in the body is a 30-day detox. You do a detox less than 30 days and you ain't penetrated long enough because you have parasites. You have critters that lay eggs and larvae and then they multiply and they have life cycles and they die out. And they kind of like them gnats in the kitchen when they have like um, a leak up in the kitchen and you don't see them. You think you got them up? Nope. They have life cycles. The next life cycle won't come so it takes you a little while to clear out all them nets same kind of thing or concept that happens inside of the body yeah but all of the sicknesses and diseases is because of what we're putting out in our body all of the fibroids or painful periods i've been through all of that don't have none of those problems no more well i never had the fibroid but i had the painful periods I didn't, um, the, uh, what do they call that? The vertigo, the anemia, the irritable syndrome. I had, uh, um, the ulcer. I had, I wore glasses. My hair used to thin. I used to have painful cysts and bumps and acne on my skin. And, you know, I used to be overweight. I had to build up a mucus and I couldn't lose it. Oh, and I had thyroid issue. And then when they couldn't find, you know, no medicines and they wanted to give me antidepressants because they were like, well, how's everything on the job? Do you hate your job? You know, when the doctor can't find nothing, now you depressed. But even the depression comes from what you put in your mouth because when you blow up with inflammation on your body, your serotonin and your dopamine is going to go away. It's going to go womp, womp, womp. Then you're going to get tired and lazy. You ain't going to do nothing that day. You're depressed. You don't have more energy. All because you took your life force away by whatever you put in your mouth and caused you inflammation. That's going to be the answer to it all. So yeah, hey 66, how you doing? Hey, hey, hey. LG, thanks for telling me who I am. At least now I can make decisions way more better. Yeah, I'm in the way you're in awakening. Yeah, and, and that's pretty much what's happening. Cause okay, they have people on there. I I was up. Let me see if I can show y'all this here. I was up every time I opened up my darn TikTok thing, they had Hundreds of thousands. Don't drink don't drink hundreds of thousands of um people on there. No, I'm on my other account. I'm I'm not on that account. But they had so many people. Y'all saw how many people was commenting. But anyway, they had so many people on there, and I was going through the comments, and I was talking to the people. But then people ain't ready to wake up. A lot of people ain't ready. You know, I tried to tell them, hey, link in the bio. But look, look at look at out of all of them thousands, look at the people that's here because those people are not ready to awaken. They're not. And this is really what it was happening. The separation, you know, the wheat from the tears, like in the biblical text. People are waking up. And for those that ain't ready, and what I mean by ready is they never ask why. They never had the thought. Because ask through thought and you shall receive in the biblical text. So you you the people that didn't say, well, why, why, why am I feeling like this? What's going on with my body? I wish I knew. Da, 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 da. Just through thought of you doing that, that's symbolic to you asking. And ask you shall receive. And lo and behold, I show up in your physical reality. And not only that, lo and behold, you're readily available when I go live to get your answer. 
It's like you called, it is part of your game of the life that you called me for in your assimilated environment to remind you of something that you once knew. So you're on a journey remembering or awakening, and it is the age of awakening. That's what this is all about. And so this here is going to help you on that level of health and wellness since you own the game of life in that area. And once you complete this here course, you get your meal plan, and you get the list of foods that are beneficial for you, guess what? You pass that level. Now you go to the next level, probably learning more about consciousness, learning more about chakra pools of energy or your, your first eye or quantum physics or whatever next in your journey. But because we're just learning and winning here, we'll never get this thing wrong. Them people that still sick, they just ain't tired yet. Them people that ain't healthy, don't want to change nothing, is purposeful for them because it goes back to the law of polarity where all things are two-sided. We got to have some sick people here. Just like we're going to have some healthy people here. But when, when it comes a moment where you just come from over there where the sick people are and you come over here to be healthy and then we give life to a couple of more sick people and because and because we always giving birth to new lives. People are still coming forward every year. Somebody's getting a little older and they're getting to the place where they can't tolerate what they used to. So everything is in a perfect balance. Yeah. <laughs> everything is in the perfect balance. Yeah, yeah, let's see. How do you consume other coconut products? I would say for all blood types that coconut water would be the most beneficial, not for all for all um, blood types, because like I said, I don't eat meat. So the fats are good for me. I would not dare tell an egg to consume no coconut oil because um they couldn't, based upon a blood type of one, and because it'll produce more mucus inside of them, you know, the, the fats or whatever, right? They, the saturated fats would be too much for them. I do it because, like I said, I only eat meat maybe four or five times a year, and so that coconut oil for me it could help me, you know, but if if I was to eat meat, then I would have, probably have too much of it, and I those saturated fats would not be beneficial for me at all. But that's like an exception. But to get your amino acids, another way outside of the coconut oil, I would highly suggest the coconut water. And you just get the um, I was looking because um I, I had a case, but I forgot that I opened up all of them and put them in the refrigerator. Just like so a down it fast up. But you just get the real coconut, the real young coconuts. You bust them open and drink that water out of them. They have a plethora of amino acids inside of that. And the coconut water is beneficial for the different blood types. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you for taking okay, I read that one. That's funny. Everything was flowing. Yeah, <laughs> everything was flowing. Oh, can I get my blood type? You get your blood type by going to Amazon.com and you enter in Eldon, E-L-D-O-N, home kit. And you prick your finger at home. It looks like this year. It looks like this year. It's just a little personal kit with a little needle in it and, and you know, a, a little card inside of that little silver pouch where you find out your blood type. You put your blood on the card four times. And then your blood going to look like a certain form. The plasma in your blood is going to form up to one of these. Look, all four of them going to do like this here. So, for example, you'd be an O if your blood looks like them see the little um, copper penny looking um, image at the top. And you just read whatever your, um, whatever the card say for you. Somebody type that in the comment for me. E-L-D-O-N. E-L-D-O-N home kit. Could somebody put that in the comment so I can pin it? So, um, I'm really, I'm ready. I need to get right. I want to have a baby. Oh, and I'm turning 31 this year. I'm so happy for you. I know somebody in my physical reality that I want to have a baby. And I'll be on her all the time. And I'll be on her about that bread, you know. You know, she, she already have, you know, little health things. And I'll be on her about that, that bread and that access um, dairy and stuff for her particular blood type. You know, you clean up your gut, you clean up your whole life, and you really want to get your body clean for when your baby come forward. Because we be giving life to our sickness and disease through the baby. If your old kidneys ain't filtering, how the baby going to have perfect kidneys when it come, you know? And not only that, you learn as a mother, because as a mother, regardless, when you know your blood type and you find out your baby's blood type, you want to be able to cook 
and provide nourishment for your baby. I think looking back, you know, that it would be her, a horrible thing. I would feel horrible as a mother knowing that I didn't teach my children about eating for their blood type, you know, and knowing, or better yet, knowing that I was up in the kitchen cooking them things that cause holes in their digestive system, make your gut, knowing that I, I, the mother, the nurturer, the lover, didn't have that information to give to them. You know, so that's, that's really important. And then when you have your child, since you know this type of thing, you can start your child off with a healthy foundation for their blood type. And, you know, even, even if your child falls short or stray away, just like in the biblical text, you know, turning up a child in the way that they should go. When they grow old, they won't depart. So even if she or he falls stray, they'll know how to get back to that foundation of home. You know, because they, they, they probably, you know, get manipulated out there with the sweets. They probably one day get a taste of the, of, of the weed or whatever, and, or the chicken or whatever causes information for their blood type. But they'll know how to come back home. And that's the most important thing, the most empowering thing for everybody. Let them have the experience, but let them know where home is. And so in, 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 in all, in all, um, in looking at it all, we're all energetically like the prodigal son in the biblical text. I gotta separate itself from the father, separate itself from 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 the all knowing, and go out there and explore life. Get a little inflammation, get a little sick, get a little disease, or whatever. But know how to come on back home when it's time. When you done wild out a little bit too much. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Park. Yeah, thanks for all you do. Thank you. I appreciate you. How do you know what's good for you? You get your meal plan. You get your list based upon your blood type. Based upon your blood type. That's how you know. Because your blood ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> your blood has memory. Okay? So that's how you know. Based upon your blood type. Based upon your blood type. There you go. That's how you know. You get the Elden at Home kit right there. At the bottom. Elden at Home kit from Amazon. And so that's going to help you know. Now you know what your blood type is. Now everything above that is based upon your blood type. You got the seven day meal plan, which comes with all the highly beneficial foods for your blood type. All the fruits for your blood type. The nuts, the, the vegetables, the meats, the seafood, the grains, the beans for your blood type. For your blood type. Outside of your blood type, your blood going to create a chemical reaction called lectins that's going to cause inflammation because they're not for your blood type. So that's how you know. And if you just want to lose weight, you can get the weight loss cheat code for your blood type. Those are highly beneficial fruits and vegetables and things for your blood type that's going to help you instantly lose weight. That's going to help you snatch that saggy skin. That's going to help you snatch that stomach that has been stretched by all the things that wasn't for your blood type, by overindulgence in food. And so it's going to have your stomach remembering what size it was. So it's going to shrink again. Everything has memory. You have memory, your stomach have memory, your blood have memory. <laughs> and you on a journey of remembering yourself. That's what this is really all about. Yes, I called you forward to remind me to eat. Yeah, for your blood type. Yes, yes, see that you already knew this. This ain't really new. There is nothing new underneath the sun. Don't you remember that from the biblical text? I quote the scriptures every now and then if you ain't never caught on to it because I came up to church. But they have so many hidden jewels up in there that a lot of people overlook. I ain't trying to get you to, you know, go to church. You know, you do your own thing as far as that's concerned. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. So there it is. It's pinned up there too. I guess I can't pin myself on this page like the other. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Maybe it's something I have to do. Like give you rights or something like that as a moder mod moderator to um, pin. I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that. You know, I don't, I'm, we, I'm just learning. But yeah, any more questions? Any more questions up in here? Y'all know where to go. Y'all know what to do. It's all about when you're ready. And you know, so, so I was on, um, I was commenting yesterday with the people on that video that's, you know, spiraling in the hundreds of thousands. And I was like, uh, and I knew energetically because I could read energy like these people. Some of these people are not really ready. You know, some of these people are justifying like, oh, I'm, somebody said in a comment, they say, um, 
I'm not here for a long time. I'm just here for a good time. I'm like, I think it's because I'm only around when I've been. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. They said, I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. I was like, no, you can't be here for a good time. Let's call this thing what it is. And I'm not being ugly to anybody because I believe that you all are me. We all just vibrate in a different frequencies. You're my reflection where I once was in my physical reality. So I ain't going to be ugly to nobody. But let's call that thing what it is. You ain't here for no, 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 no good time. Because if you can't be having a good time with no hole in your gut. You can't be having a good time wearing no glasses because glasses is letting you know that you, your gut is having the inability to absorb and eliminate waste. That's why your vision is going out because that's what glasses is, is trying to show you. Like, right? Because I did that journey already. I wore the glasses. I healed from that. So that, that lets me know some healing is going on. Don't Let's not play that game. I'm here for a good time, not for a long time. No, no. It's not a good time when I hear and consult with people that have lupus. That, that's on dialysis because the kidney's not filtering. That ain't a good time. Say what it is. What it is is you lack discipline. Say what it is. You're addicted to those foods and you don't know how to get off. Come on, let's let's just call it what it is. Let's not call it the devil and stuff. But those people would justify, look, I'm just going to do what I'm doing. And that's okay because, like I said, they need people that's going to be sick to balance this universe. We need sick people and we need healthy people. Choose you this, this day which God you're going to serve. That's what that's all about. But outside of that, you know, my grandma, when I was a little girl, my grandma said, oh, and hey, just make a soft ass. But I, I, I was questioning grandma, rest her soul, because um, these people seem like they got a hard ass. Because they just, they just want to justify the things that just destroying them. And, and so, and so I, I just got to a point where I was like, I'm not going to be commenting back and forth for people that ain't ready because I know how that game works. When you're not ready, you're not, you're not going to change. You're going to rinse and repeat because your subconscious mind is telling you it's safe over here. That high fructose corn syrup that's tricking your brain into thinking that you're hungry is saying, girl, just eat the whole bag. That's, that's what's going on there. And so I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not going to sit there. I'm only here for a few. See the few? Look, look, 24 I, don't, I think it's up to 150 plus thousand people over there commenting and stuff over there talking no because if you if you do it like this then you could then you could eat it well I get the diet kind and all of these just no baby just say you don't have the discipline because the discipline that you lack is also showing up in another place in your life probably in your relationship with men that's that's dogging you out yeah probably in in you know on your job you know that you ain't, ain't doing what you're supposed to do. That you're not a valuable team player there either because you lack the discipline. Probably in that business that you've been wanting to start for umpteen years that you never started. You keep saying it, but you ain't never even got the LLC, which is the easiest thing, or the EIN number. But you've been saying it. Life's going to always show you you. Life's going to always show you you. And when you're ready to change you, then you have the wisdom. When you, when you just regurgitating, you know, oh, because you do like this and you do like that. I didn't have no wisdom about myself, no no knowledge. Because you got to apply that thing. You, you, you got to be the walking testimony of that thing. Instead of just telling people, no, you do like this and you do like this and you sitting up there. Still sick, still hurting, still suffering, still not manifesting. But you're God in physical form. You are God in physical form. I wouldn't waste my time to come here be live. Every day, Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. To tell you no lies and garbage. You know what I, be, I could be doing? I could be outside watching my birds all day long. Underneath the sun. Drinking me some water and some coconut water. And thriving in life. <laughs> and that's exciting to me. Exciting to me to just be. It really is. Yeah. If you looked at it that way. Oh, hey, Grateful. How you doing? I didn't know you was up in here. Yeah, I just started eating like this about a week ago. Can it heal my eyes so I don't need glasses? Yes, it can. Yolanda, keep on going, girl. It healed mine. And I was going, rinsing, repeating, and constantly getting high glasses every year. And they were stylish. They were cool because it was stylish, you know, the different ones that you could get from the insurance plan. And But what I realized is that the vision, every time, every year, the vision was getting worse. And then, they, you know, the prescription for the glasses was getting stronger. I'm like, wait, I'm going I'm to need bifocals? I was actually bifocal. 
And so, you know, I had to get, I was trying to get the, the, the smallest freaking lens, but the freaking lens was sticking out of the frame, the glasses. I'm like, oh, hell no. I'm too young for this. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> and so I didn't know that eating right and getting my digestive enzymes and my hydrochloric acid and the integrity of my gut and imbalance was going to do that. I was just on a journey, just trying to eat right, just trying to breathe, like, right? But with time, I was like, wait a minute. I could see better now without these things. And then I went just to that year. I was like, no, I don't want to get the prescription increase this year. And um, and I went in, and when I read, you know, the little letters, and they did my vision, they were like questioning, like, how did it improve? And I was like, oh, I must be on to something. So, slow, you know, slowly I kept on with my diet and then I didn't even need the glasses no more. But the thing about getting new prescriptions, I want to share this with you, is it actually weakens your vision too. So, that's a game that the eye doctor playing on the people too now. Just like, you know, the doctor with the prescription drugs giving you something that's going to maybe tear up your liver and tear up your kidneys in addition to whatever the heck it was that you went there for. Because they studied medicine. And I'm not I'm blaming they underneath their oath with their medicine. They're not studying healing over there. And so the eye doctor, huh, constantly giving you that thicker prescription, it's going to weaken and strain your eyes now. It's almost like if you're looking to buy um, the magnifying glass all day long, and then you take that glass off, your eyes have to adjust back now to what you, you know, the normal way of seeing things. But you, you, we be weakening ourselves when we do stuff like that. We really do. And well, perfect. Yep, yes, prescription just gets stronger. We wear glasses 35 years, now my vision is worse. Yeah, it, that's just it. You just keep on getting worse. You keep on every year, you're going to keep on getting more. And then, but the thing about it is, you got to change that diet to strengthen up the ability to absorb and eliminate waste because it, it'd be a blockage right there. Just like your gut. And your brain are intertwined. This is why we have gut feelings. Well, also your gut, it, it, everything's connected. Your gut is connected to my eyes. Your gut is connected to the fact that that hair probably bald in the top. Your gut is connect, connected to that lymphatic system that's clogged up. So that's why your ankle probably is full, you know, the people with the gout and stuff. Everything is connected to the gut and the blood. And it's about blood flow. It really is. I can't see as well anymore. Yeah, after years of, you know, being like that, then then you're A, that mucus and, you know, getting clogged up up in there for years of consuming those things and not knowing what an A is supposed to eat like. But it is my promise to you. Keep going. Keep going. I don't know when your day is because I didn't know what my day was. It snuck up on me that I was like in an engineering technical meeting that it got clear in my head and it was like a light switch went off and that day I remember it like it was yesterday I felt so surprised that I was retaining the information because my cognitive thinking was like messed up I used to be like what say that again or I used to be like wait read that paragraph again or I'll be the one reading it and I gotta read it like about three times to kind of like kind of like understand what the heck I just read yeah, that happens too when you all clogged up because it messes with your head. There are people out there that are just sick because of what they're eating and it's all going to their head. And so they, these people, they, some people on the third floor, they think they people crazy. No, they just got all kind of pathogens and parasites inside of them. Ain't nothing wrong with them people. They re When people were out there murdering and killing and destroying and stuff and they say, oh, he's sick. Yeah, there's a lot of us out here sick, being animalistic, being inflamed, be wanting to kill, wanting to do all kind of crazy things because of lifestyles, of being in survival mode and being on fire within and no blood flowing within. It give you chaotic thoughts. It make it keep you sleep at up, up. I mean, keep you up all night. People with insomnia, depression, it causes all of this here stuff. It caused meaningless surgeries every day. Somebody laying on the table right now. Imagine that somebody's getting their little anesthesia right now to prepare for a surgery right now that could have been avoided right now if they would have known how to eat for their blood type. Right now. Little children too. 
parents just just don't know oh, let's see what the doctor what the doctor say about this here meal plan of yours somebody told me in the comments i'm gonna have to ask my doctor i just laughed i'm like oh you're gonna ask a person that don't give you your blood work that that that's the person that won't tell you what your blood type is yeah they have it but they're gonna say well come on in we're gonna draw some more of your blood so we can filter it and help heal the other people with your blood because since you don't know what's going on with your blood especially if you're old type blood we're gonna use that thing we're gonna make some money off of that oh come on in I've been knowing your blood type since you came forth in the physical reality. I've been knowing that you needed to eat for your blood type, but you've been a good patient of mine, and I couldn't tell you that because you would have stopped coming. Oh, yeah, I had a little, I had all kinds of little uh, lab rat tests or medications for you. Yeah, you didn't see, you didn't see the pharmaceutical people up in the lobby. They passed you up while you were waiting. They walked up in there with their little briefcase, their little rolling briefcase. They came on back to the back, and they had a new drug, and I tried it on you. I got an incentive for that. <laughs> I made sure you had all your immunization shots and you and your children and everything. I got a nice little bonus for that too. Oh, you just a, you just a good old lab rat. Because <laughs> you didn't know yourself. And knowing yourself is getting to know God. That's what you came here for. For the journey. Listen. You're so welcome. That's definitely, definitely my goal, no glasses. I'm wearing my previous prescription because of current ones. I can't see as well anymore. Oh, you back on the previous one? And see, see, you know, see about staying on the previous ones and stop getting them magnified more if you can take it. And huh, I would encourage y'all to stop that, tearing up to my balls. You need the eyes. I'm trying to get my sister, my mother, and my father to eat for their blood type too. I'm seeing results already. Yeah, well, okay, you 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 know what you do? You 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 stay right there. You see your results. And you you just you just stay right there. You hold that momentum. You hold that focus, ability to focus and stay in alignment with what feels good to you. They watching you. Trust and believe they watching you. Trust and believe they watching you. And if you stay in alignment with your energy, it's going to cause them to do the same and the same and the same and the same because they they going to get tired of watching you and seeing all that good progress and they will come over to you let them come to you they know what you're doing let them come to you because if you keep if you try if some you fight against resistance when you try to make other people do what you're doing you fight against resistance you create resistance with them they be like oh, i got this people like to feel like they they you know they stumble upon the information. Uh, they knew this kind of like already. Kind of like it's kind of like a psycho psychological thing with the humans. So let them think. Oh yeah, yeah. I I saw so and so doing that, and let me tell you da da da. Cause that's that's how family will do. Family will do this here. They see you eating for your blood type, and then when you're not around, they ain't, they ain't gonna tell you that they saw you. But when you're not around, they're gonna go do the research on what you doing, what they saw you doing. They do their research and they try to up one and then they come to you like, oh yeah, you well, you know you're old. You know you're old. I, I've been reading about that, yeah. You know you're old. You really supposed to eat just the meat and the veggies, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> so let them up one on you. They coming. I promise you they coming. That's how family do. They coming. That's how humans do. Really great content. Thank you. You are so welcome, Fee. How did you ever figure out what to eat and what not to eat for your blood type. Well, blood type come about. Okay, how do whoever figure out what to eat? Okay, well, for me, initially, how I stumbled upon this is I asked myself. You know how, like, okay, we go get a little spiritual if you could, if you can handle that for a minute. Let me get off of this here background. Okay, and get back to me. We will get a little spiritual for that answer, though, because everything is two sides, physical and spiritual. I'm a spiritual person, right? I started off my journey be being a vegan, like, right? And I was consuming just because I was, you know, I had thyroid issues really, really bad. And so I, I thought I was dying. I would even, oh, I forgot to mention that I would even take hot showers and I would pass out in a hot shower because of the heat, you know, and my blood pressure was already low. I would just pass out, you know, because I couldn't take the heat. Anyway. <laughs> so in the beginning of my journey I threw away everything All of the meat, everything that was in my cupboard I went cold turkey on letting go of everything 
And so in letting it go of everything, I decided to eat all of the things that was just nasty, like right, the nasty kale, the nasty dandelion, the nasty burdock root and all this stuff here that I really didn't like. But I felt like, you know, okay, this here kale is green. And I didn't know nothing about the body like I do now. This here kale is green, so I know they got chlorophyll in there. And so if they got chlorophyll, they need they got magnesium and I know I need magnesium and chlorophyll, so I'm gonna just eat it. And it's nasty, but I'm gonna eat it anyway, right? Then I started doing research. Then you hear all kind of things. This good for you, this ain't good for you. And then I was just starting to tell my family, like I'm telling you all this, how I know that they're gonna push away and they're gonna still call your name. They used to call me um nurse nurse Rie, my last name. Here come nurse Rie. Oh Lord, put your food out. <laughs> and so and so um i kept going and so i stopped talking to them and then i was just doing my own little thing people would come up to me and they would tell me oh you you um you remind me of the doc this man named dr Sabi." and so i researched him and i was like oh yeah he, he really is in alignment with what i'm doing here and then i i, I pulled back from that and I, I had a guru who was telling me about you know all these other herbs and i would um volunteer at farmers markets and at Whole Foods store on Mondays in New Orleans, Louisiana on Broad Street, I would be in a foyer and I would help people um, with the herbs and the preserves and stuff that my guru had created. He was a healer. He's no longer with us in the physical reality, but he lives through me. Anyway, so all of this information, all of this information, and I got to a point in my journey, I was like, look, I won't listen to nobody. I won't listen to what my inner beat is saying, how I feel. I won't listen to me finally. That's why how you feel really, really matters. So I begin to ask. They remember earlier I said you, God, ask a question. People ain't here because they ain't the ones that ask. Y'all the ones that ask, ask, and you shall receive. So I asked this here. There ain't no witchcraft stuff. If you come from church, there ain't no boogeyman unless you put the boogeyman in here. There ain't no devil, none of that. It's your thoughts up in here. This is your land book of life. This is your subconscious mind. This is your all-seeing eye right here. This is your inner being right here. So I asked through my habitual talk or self-talk to myself, show me. <sighs> what are the foods for my body? What are the fruits that I need to be eating? That's what my question was. What are the vegetables that I need to be eating? And because I asked, I was led to these things. And so a coincidental moment will come where you'll be like, given certain fruits and then based upon eating this is how your subconscious mind it yields to you what you ask it for this is how your subconscious mind do for you this is your superpower your god-given birthright and so 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 say for example somebody gave me then an exotic fruit that i never had and i taste it and i would sit back and i would listen to how i felt and how i listened to how i felt was symbolic to me laying down on the bed with my eyes closed this is what I mean when you too busy eating, you ain't listening to your body. Lay down on my bed with my eyes closed and I will feel how my body felt when I ate that thing. And I began to put two and two together, the things that was beneficial for me and what were not. And lo and behold, I started eating more of the things that were beneficial for me, that felt good to me, that I felt like that they were subsiding things for me. There was a moment when I consume beneficial concoction, that that um that potion, that that potion that's available for my blood type on my website, I consumed that. I was laying down in my bed after I consumed it, and it was like I had been going to the doctor because my liver was bothering me. That's one of the things that the bees suffer with the liver, um, detoxifying it. And I didn't know anything about my organs at this time, but I was like something right here behind my breast is hurting me. Is what I was telling the lady, the doctor lady. And um, she was running tests and everything, but I consumed my herbal potion. And it was like, I laid on the bed after I did it, and it was like little marbles were falling. Like if I had a pocket, and I went to look to see if I had a pocket with marbles in the physical on my clothes, that marbles was falling, but it was my gallbladder duck releasing gallstones. They were just dropping, 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 and it felt so. It felt so good. And so things like that taught and showed to me that I was in alignment with my body. That I was eating for my blood type. That's how I know. That's my scientific evidence. 
me losing weight, me getting rid of mucus, me seeing these things in my bowel, me seeing or feeling my um my um urine thicken it you know when I was urinating and me seeing now sediments in my urine showing me with my physical eyes that I'm releasing these uric acids, this lactic acid build up. That's how I I found out about eating for my blood type. I went in. I went in the spiritual way. Now, other people probably ain't tapped in like that there. You know? Other people probably not there. But I'm there. <laughs> That's how I know it works for me. Yeah. Yeah. Say it again. I missed what you said. What? What part of all of it? That I pretty much tapped into my inner being is what I was saying. The question was about... Um, how did I know? How did I know that I was doing it? Because it felt so good. Because I read my body of all sickness and disease. Because <laughs> my blood signed my name, pretty much. That's how I know. And you'll know too. You're going to know. You're going to know based upon the fact that, okay, you're going to be able to have children again. You're going to be able to see again. You're going to lose that weight. You're going to go down to that high school weight. That's how you're going to know. You're going to feel like, you know, a runner, a track star. <laughs> You're going to get praise and reviews from other people saying, oh, you, you look like you're glowing. Even other people going to let you know if you don't know. You're going to be in a place how they talk about it in the biblical text. You got to know that you know that you know that you know. You know, we remember when we used to go to church and they used to say that there? Yeah, that's how you're going to know. Because you're just going to know. Yeah, you just going to know. Is coffee bad for um, me? Coffee is neutral for bees. It's not nothing you should avoid, but you shouldn't have too much of it. It is not highly beneficial. It's like in the middle. Um, say it again. I miss you. Um, I'm something. I'm taking you with me. Treating myself so divine. Oh, look at you. Okay, we going to brunch. Yes. About my subscription. Subscription. About your prescription. Oh, about your um eyeglass prescription you're talking about? Oh, don't don't let them constantly increase. Try to stay with the previous, you know, glasses that you were wearing because they're increasing and getting a big, a larger, um, a more bifocal lens is really putting strain on your eye. You're doing the work by healing the gut. That's you know, he try to heal the gut. It's just where the mold was, you know, as long as you can. All that increasing. It's really that's putting a lot of strain, er, strain every year. And that's why our vision gets even worse in conjunction to not eating from the blood type. Because the gut still needs to eliminate and be able to absorb um, nutrients. And it can't when the digestive system is compromised. When there's no digestive enzymes, when there's no beneficial bacteria, the microbiome inside of the um, gut has been altered. Because of the foods that wasn't serving the body. Yeah, I'm so grateful you showed up on my For You page. I'm grateful to be on this journey. I'm happier. I'm so happy for you. Who is that? Let's see. I got this glare up here. I am Chad. Oh, I'm thankful for you being here, babe. I appreciate you. You too, Yolanda. The same thing that happened to me would we would get weak. Showering in hot water. Couldn't take the steam. Yeah. Yeah, Chad. So it's like... I always used to have um, low blood pressure, and I just boom. I'm like, oh hell no, but boy, that that got me, that got my attention, that got my attention, and you know, I could understand those people who's holding on, cause I used to try to hold on to those foods, you know, but it comes, but there's gonna be a moment, and it sometimes it be a disease. There's gonna be a moment where you, they, them people gonna come on this side. They gonna come because. <laughs> When I started passing out in the shower, thinking that I was going to die, when that thyroid got so intense, I used to, man, I used to get off of work, and I, I didn't talk much, because if you know anything about thyroid issues, you know it's so draining to talk, like, right, you feel so much of fatigue inside of your whole body, but just to say too many words, like, right, was so draining. It felt so draining. I would get up from work. I would pull up in that drive, um, in that garage in my driveway. And I just sit there in the car. I sit there in the car like, oh, I made it. Okay. Now if I could 
bitch is cooking some food. Y'all go ahead. Y'all get out. Y'all go in the house. I'm coming. If I could just cook some food, they could go outside and play. And then I could take my bath. This is how I always be dealing with myself in the car. In the, in the SUV. And I could just take my bath. And then I could go to bed. Oh, I just want to go to bed. I hope none of my neighbors saw that I'm home. Because, Lord, please don't send nobody over here. Ring that damn doorbell. Because... I can't talk no more. I can talk to my mouth. But I'm mad. I wonder if anybody know that I felt like I was dying over there. That's what I used to tell myself. <laughs> so, me feeling like that on my, in my garage, plus me passing out while I take a hot shower, Plus my baby boy telling me for his birthday while I was trying to fake it till I make it at the Ottoman Zoo in New Orleans, Louisiana. He said, Mom, you ain't fun like you used to be. My stomach was hurting me so much. He jumping on top of the day, going the tree, trying to climb the tree, and he trying to have a birthday party. I'm like, Lord, boy, hurry up. Just like, come hurry up with this party so I can go get in the bed. But when he told me, he's like, Mom, you're not fun no more. Is it because you're getting old? And I looked at him and I'm thinking about passing out and all these different things and how I feel. And that became my reason why. It's like, man, I got to be around for my damn children. And I just cried, y'all. I cried. I cried so much because I didn't know what the hell to do. I ain't going to lie. I didn't know what the hell I was going to do with my life, what I was going to eat. I cried. I cried as I emptied up my freezer. I cried as I cleaned up my pantry. But I said to myself, whatever it was that I was doing, we ain't going to do that no more. We just going to dare to do something different. Because I felt like I was dying. I would tell my boys to, 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 to be good to each other because y'all all each other have. Love on your brother. And that I love you because I thought many nights that I was going to die in my sleep. That's how low frequency I was with my diet. I come from New Orleans, Louisiana, and we ate crawfish. We ate bottom feeder um, catfish. You know, we had the lobster and, you know, the shrimp. You know, we had the chitlins and the red beans and rice. And, you know, and all the pork. I ate all of that stuff. I, I knew nothing really about fruits and vegetables from where I come from. People in New Orleans, we have that soul food. But that so-called soul food is destroying the people in New Orleans, babe. Their diets or their lifestyle is really conducive of high blood pressure, diabetes, and, and gout, arthritis, and things. And it's because of the things that we're eating. But it's like a cultural thing there. And so me, just go throwing all that stuff away. And I'm telling my mom and my sisters, like, oh, I'm thinking I'm telling them that they'll jump on board like I was telling Yolanda. Leave them people alone because they ain't ready. People have their different alarm clock set for when they're going to wake up. I'm thinking they're going to turn, come on board. They call me nursery A. They're like, uh-oh, here she come. When I was throwing away the meat, they were like, girl, wait. Don't put that in the dumpster outside. Wait, just put it. I'm on my way to come and pick it up. I didn't even want to give it to nobody because I knew it was part of the reason why it was causing me inflammation. They're like, uh-uh. I'm coming to get it. She, you, I eat it. And they just took it because it wasn't ready. <laughs> but heaven is a prepared place for prepared people when those people get ready to experience heaven on earth. Everybody don't want to experience no heaven on earth. Yeah. 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 Okay. But yeah, that's my story, y'all. That's my story. Wait, wait, wait. Y'all tap the screen. I got 5,000 likes. Y'all want to hear about anything? Any other questions? Y'all tap the screen while y'all here. Give me, get them likes up. Likes up so I can help somebody in their in physical reality. Tap the screen. It's my blessed to give. I'm giving to you. I'm giving to you my, my testimony, my experiences. Give so other people can be blessed. I just be wanting to bless my reflections, you know. When I came up on this journey, I, I never had somebody that sat and talked to me about these things. And I always look, not being racist, but I always look for somebody that looked like me. A black lady that had my kind of culture that came up like I did to see what she did as it pertained to health and wellness. Because that would have felt refreshing. I had my black man guru who helped me. Well, it would have felt a, a, a little different having that nourishment from a mother, mother-type figure, 
somebody that could understand that had a cycle and could understand the the you know the, the pains that we can go through giving birth and having painful periods and things like that y'all give me up to six thousand likes please i will be so grateful for you tap the screen please yeah people will wake up on their own time you're beautiful inside and out oh thank you ap leaders we have 5.7 let's get to um six thousand likes up in here they got 22 people we could get down to i mean up to six thousand five point eight five point eight can we get a five point nine can we get a five point nine is that a nine yep up one more one more y'all doing good let me drink some water yeah thank you i appreciate that up oh, we had the six I was driving now at the restaurant. Oh, enjoy that beautiful restaurant. I'm so happy for you. So any more questions? Who we have up in here? Who we have up in here? Do we have any a certain blood type up in here? Y'all know y'all blood type? Let me see something. Let me see something. Let me do this here poll right here. Y'all let me know. in case they have people up here that don't know let's see let's see okay let me know let me know what blood type we have up in here the most of i want to see that thank you thank you i appreciate you and then we could um we could eat rice we could eat rice they have a um let me show you right quick while y'all doing that poll y'all answer that um that poll right there y'all answer that poll right there the o's up in here the o's always up in here sick of who that is 66 yay <laughs> the o's always up in here the o's always up in here yeah 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 the o's up in here we can talk about the o's some more i love the o's we gonna talk about the O's. So y'all, um, so everybody here know they blood type. Everybody here have the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the food list and everything for their blood type, right? That's good. So we can talk more about the, like the issues, cause even sometimes you'll get the foods and then maybe that like one thing, one thing that you're doing that kind of like make the foods and stuff null and void. So. It's a full print. I really hope that all of my likes are reaching you. Oh, yeah, Mark. Thank. No, not yet. I have to get mine. I will soon. Okay. Okay. Okay, Miss Williams. Is that I? Am I saying that right? But yeah, here's the. Um, rice is, rice for um the bees are kind of like um neutral uh king y would be like really really highly beneficial but here's a, a neutral one a neutral rice for the bees they got them at, got it at uh trader joe's trader joe's but king y is really really beneficial rice for the bees Ayana, oh, that's how you say it. Oh, I like that. That's so pretty. That's pretty. Let me see what this poll say. Who we got up in here? We have bees and O's up in here. Oh, okay. We have more bees. We have sixty-six percent bees up in here. And let's do the bees. Let's talk about my blood type, the B. The B. The B represents balance. You know the beautiful thing about the bees. Let's get some let's get let's get up these likes, y'all, to get some more bees up in here. 66%. They only got 20 people up in here. My lives be way. Y'all ain't tapping screen at all. Y'all just looking at me. My lives be way more likes than that at this point. I've been on here for like an hour. And y'all got me with y'all y'all got me with six thousand. Y'all tap that screen. 
you all tap that screen. We're about to talk about the bees. The bees are so balanced. The bees can escape sickness and disease easily because of that balance. Okay, we're going to do the oils after this. They got bees and oils up in here. We're at 6.4. Let's get up them likes, y'all. Let's get up them likes. 6.5. Come on. Come on. Come on, bees. God, is this bee about to talk about the bees? Is she a bee? Bee, 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 bee. <laughs> We have 6.7. Let's let's get to six uh, to seven thousand likes, and then we'll, I'll get started. Eight, six point nine, six point nine up in here. Six point nine. All right, one more, one more. We have six point nine. Let's get to seven thousand. Seven thousand, seven thousand. We're starting on the bees. Okay, the bees. Thank you, thank you. So the bees are really balanced. The bees have really really strong immune systems. The things that really inflame us the most it be the um, tomatoes. Maybe that chicken, we that bread kind of like suffocates us, like right. As far as our exercise and our strength and endurance is concerned, we like, you know, because this even affects your lifestyle, like right, your interactions. We like to interact and um, do exercises that are like inclusive with other people. So we like things like tennis, golfing, and hiking. Right, because we're so balanced, and, and you think about that in every aspect of the way of balance. Balance because of we like to interact when we're exercising, we'll get more done, and we, you know, it's like almost like a team building type exercise type thing. We're balanced as far as our diet is concerned, because keep in mind, we can eat the dairy, we can eat the meat, we could, we can eat dairy, meat. We can do um, some grains and all. We have the most diverse um, blood type amongst all blood types. Even though I don't consume the dairy like talking about it all, but we can. We have meats, highly beneficial meats. We have highly beneficial seafoods for our um, blood type and everything. We are really, really balanced. And I don't see why a bee would be complaining about letting chicken go because you can just cross over to the highly beneficial meats on your blood type and you thriving and you know i just don't eat all of the different types of animals that they say but you have so many to choose from unlike a for example so you require to have a balance between your physical and your mental activity in order to stay lean and to stay sharp mentally too so you are, um, you're easily able to withstand sickness and disease, but you can <laughs> have some neuroimmune system disorder, such as multiple cirrhosis. You could have lupus. You could have chronic fatigue syndrome. And I was just talking about that because of your lupus, because of the things that you're eating. The fatigue syndrome goes for the things you're eating too, but... It stems from being drained from that sickness and disease in whatever that weak spot is for you. So because of the things that I was eating was causing me dis-ease in my digestive system, my weak spot was my throat. So I ended up manifesting thyroid issues in the physical reality. Keep in mind, going back to asking you shall receive. Energetically, we should be all flowing with our energy, our inner G portals in our body. Now I gotta go a little spiritual, but stay with me on this year. All of us have energy portals in our body that correlate with a certain organ, organ called chakra pools of energy. Anything or sickness and disease that you have in any particular place be is because you clogged up your energy portal in that particular area. So when the doctors are asking you how you feel, when life is asking you how you feel, <laughs> your feelings or your trauma in a certain body part is really going to show you how you feel. Me, for example. The reason why I developed thyroid issues in the is because in the spiritual, I had trauma. I had a lack of self-expression and I wasn't speaking my truth. Why was I not speaking? Because my trauma as a little girl with daddy issues felt like I don't need daddy. I'm going to be all right without him. 
I'm, I don't need nobody. I'm going to guard my heart. Leave me alone kind of issues, like, right? So, when I stop expressing myself, I clog that up in the spiritual realm because I was not speaking from my heart. I was not speaking. I had a double whammy. Not only was I not speaking because of the trauma issues and guarding my heart because of daddy issues, I decided I'm not going to speak at all because these church folk seem like they're crazy and they keep telling me that I'm going to be a speaker and a healer. And I thought that meant that I was going to be a pastor. Since I came up in church, I said to myself, oh no, I'm getting the hell out of this church. I don't want to be like my mom and my auntie, my uncles and my brother and everybody that's in this church stuff. I'm getting the hell out of here. I know what I can do. I can stop talking. And if I stop talking, they're going to not see this so-called gift that they're prophesying over my life that I'm going to be walking in. So I stopped talking because of daddy issues, because I was hurt. And because I ain't want nobody to hear my true self-expression. Shame on me. I thought I was brilliant, but it backfired. Because when you stop expressing and speaking your truth, you clog up an energy portal in your spiritual realm. And as within, so without, as above, so below. So in the spiritual, if some chaos is going on energetically with your thoughts, with the matter of your heart, whatever chakra pool of energy that you didn't decide to clog up or stop, or stop, it's going to cause you dis-ease. This is deep now. Yeah, we got to get a little deep. We got to get a little deep. We got to get a little deep to really get to the core of that onion. Because sometimes there be layers of different things. So me being that little girl thought I was brilliant. But I was causing it to stop. I was stopping my love because daddy hurt me. And how dare he was there for my sisters. And it was my turn to be the baby. And now him and my mama got a divorce. And now I don't want to love anymore. How dare he? So I caught it to heart. I put a barbed wire fence around that thing. I put a canine around that thing. The canine was supposed to just tear up anybody that tried to love me. Get your ass back. Because I don't want to love. I know I'm cute. Believe me all. I don't want to love. Right? Caught it to heart. Ain't talking. So now I have thyroid issues in my physical reality. Yep. And guess who created that dis-ease and disharmony? It wasn't the devil. It wasn't Big Book Man. It was my little girl self. Yep, it was me. I have to be accountable now because I did that. I'm the one that stopped the talking now. In order to heal that now, what could I do? What must I do? Well, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So energetically, I got to energetically, spiritually now, not the physical just yet. Spiritually now, I got to open up my heart. I'm going to open up my heart, though. I had that thing closed. I had that thing closed. And now I don't really want to open it because that means I'm going to have to talk. And I got these thyroid issues. So, but here's the thing. This heart, this heart is an electromagnetic field of energy around it. This heart is the most powerful chakra pool of energy that correlates to any organ that you're going to have in your physical body. So this is why when you become awakened, this is why you begin to heal yourself or whatever. You got to operate from a place of love. This is why when you get your meal plan, that's really you loving on yourself. Because guess what? Love heals all. Don't tell nobody. Because everybody don't know that yet. Just keep out that out of a secret. Love heals all, right? So I thought to myself, how am I going to open up this heart? I got to love. I got to find something to love. Okay, well, I, 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 okay, 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 I could do that. I could, I could find stuff. I could find the good. I, I could do that. And that don't require much of me. I could, you know, so I, when I found the good, this is why I, st I love the um, birds and nature and stuff so much. Because when I was sick, maybe the first thing that I found that was good was things outside. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Oh, the sun really feels good while I'm sitting out here. Oh, thank you for giving me energy, sun. Oh, you're so good to me. Oh, look at the beautiful flowers over there. They're so lovely. And this coincides with the biblical text. Finally, my brethren, whatsoever things that are just, whatsoever things that are pure, whatsoever things that are lovely, if there be any virtue in them, think on these things because this going to heal you. And so a step further, I do consultations too. This is almost like y'all in therapy up in here. Y'all giving free therapy up in here right quick. So here we go. So I found stuff in the physical that I look at the love and it, love heals all the love was making me feel good. But then I had to get this throat open. I had to get this throat chakra open. I had to get this thyroid issue. I got to heal from this here thyroid issue. So I need my love to heal my throat. 
So I now had to learn how to speak from a place of love. How do I have to speak from a place of love? You start talking about how you feel. If you talk about how you feel, then that, 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 that the heart chakra will begin to open up up in here. What do you mean? How I feel? What's your heart feel like? So, for example, when guys would call me, you could do this even with, you know, ready to all kind of talk. Y'all know you got a little nasty in you. When guys would call me, I would say, instead of this asking me, hey, B, what, what are you doing? Oh, I, I feel so relaxed right now. I'm on this live talking to people. It feels like, it feels so rewarding to me because it's like I'm giving out a free consultation to my reflection. You know, people that was that's in a place in their journey where I once was. I feel so comfortable sitting up in this chair listening to this soft music in the background. I feel amazing. How you feel? You see what I'm saying? So when people ask you how you are doing, you get into your feminine, you get into your heart, man or woman, it don't freaking matter if you a man. Man, bro, I feel I feel like a million bucks right now, man. I feel on fire about this new this new meal plan, man. I think I think I, I feel like I'm on to something, man. Finally, I met these ladies. This God is just be lady, man. And she got um, she got a man feeling right, man. She got a man feeling like he on the right path. You know, you say it in your little macho place, but in your little macho way. But you're talking from this here heart, and like I said, this heart has an electromagnetic field of energy, and it could heal you. So it expands out. It can reach people in all across the world. Oh, I love him. He out the country. Oh, I could just feel his presence. Because love connects us to all. And love is the most powerful form of energy that there is. So this same love, being that it stretches outside of you, it can pulsate inside of you and unclog every chakra pool of energy inside of your body. Love heals all. Love can heal your thyroid. Love can open up them eyes again. It is love. Love for self. Love you going down there buying the foods for your meal plan. That's love for self at a cellular level. Love heals all. This is an act of love. And everybody ain't there yet. I got to let you know the spiritual first. This, this is what I'm saying. I got to let you know. You manifested this here. By the blockage you created, by that trauma, by whatever that was on the spiritual. Okay, D don't stay there and just beat yourself up being the victim. Now it's time to operate from a place of love to heal your body. Love for, for in, within yourself can open up lower chakra pools of energy too. I heard somebody talking about the inability to bring forth life. Baby, love can open up that chakra pool. You know, when we have people in the physical reality that have been molested, that's been raped and all, they be holding on. They decide, I don't want nobody to touch me down there in my sacral chakra pool of energy. I don't want to be touched by a man. I don't want to be touched by a woman. I'm going to try this thing out. I'm going to stop my energy energy right there from flowing and so what happens because of that drama in the spiritual they felt like they wanted to stop their energy so it must manifest in the physical reality where they have maybe cysts on their ovaries ovarian cancer the people who clogging up this heart oh they getting heart attacks now because they don't want to love they got high blood pressure it always is going to be in that region where you decided spiritually that you wasn't going to allow your energy to flow and it all be tied to your trauma if you really dig deep it's tied to your trauma and so my love and my ability to open up my mouth by speaking about my love doing it every day Finding the things that I, I saw in the physical that I could give my attention to love on. Finding some words to say to people. Oh, I feel so happy that you're here. You're my favorite. Oh, that looks good on you. I really, really like that color on you. Just finding something to love or be in love with or look at and admire. That's your heart speaking. You got to open up that day. That's your superpower. Love heals all, baby. <laughs> I'm living witness of that. And so so when I when I got to that place spiritually, where I'm finding the good out here, 
where, where I'm telling people how good I feel in here, where I'm giving to myself all of the things that I feel like is good for it. Now I'm totally surrounded by love and I'm now totally healed. Now my thyroid issue is gone. Now my body, my immune system is up to par. And so if somebody would ask me, they'd be like, oh, oh it was a food. I'm like, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that was physical, really. The physical is really only 0.01% of it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but see, the spiritual is the 99.999% of all that there is. That's the part that nobody see, though. I was operating energetically underneath the rhythm and the power of love. You got to get that part. I don't want you to just have one side. I could give you the meal plan. But you but they got some they got some hateful ass somebodies out there that might be stumbling upon foods that are highly beneficial for them. But because they still have that negative thought about that rape, they got they got that trauma from that daddy that left them. They holding on tighter to that energetically. And they are stunting their own growth. Don't forget about love now. <laughs> Don't forget that part now. Don't forget that part. I just had to share that. And I, I know that y'all needed that. Y'all needed that part of it. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. This is deep. Wow. Can you do a series on the chakras? Yeah, that's why I need to do that. I need to talk about the chakra pools of energy. I went live on um another God is paid and I talked about it. I didn't record it. It was really, really deep because the chakras, even your foods, even your foods are helping you. Okay. For example, think about the peppers. So you got peppers, you got your red pepper, your yellow pepper, your green pepper, your orange pepper. They all correlate with just different chakra pools of energy in your body. So now when you eat your colored peppers for your blood type, they help you. Say for example, your red your red represent the root chakra. You being grounded, you being grounded and feeling safe and secure. You're not operating from survival mode. But the people that's operating from survival mode, for example, daddy left them. Oh, they, they root chakra not in balance. So to get in balance, there are things that they could do energetically with crystals. You know, they could get the red jasper crystal and carry it with them. They could get some red peppers and eat them things to help them with their root chakra. You know, they could they could tell themselves, I am affirmations. I feel grounded. They could go outside barefooted in nature, for example, and, and ground themselves with nature. Mother, Mother Earth, you know, and Mother going to make them feel um, protected and make them feel grounded. And energize their body. There's so many things in the physical reality that people could do to manipulate energy to get back to a healthy state of being. Everywhere you look. Everywhere you look. <laughs> it's out there. So those same chakra pools of energy with them peppers. That's why for me as a blood type B, and I'm talking to the bees right now. For the blood type bees, you eat all four colors of your peppers and it's going to help you with all your chakra pools of energy. Red pepper for your root chakra, the orange pepper for your sacral chakra, the um, yellow pepper for your solar plex, the green pepper for your heart. And you eat that stuff and you digest that stuff. All right? This here part matters. I could read, read you all kind of notes that I have from my journey. I could tell you about all of the meal plan and the instant cheat code, but you need to know about this here thing called love and these chakra pools of energies in your body. So for the bees, chicken um, contains a, um, a glutenating lectin in the muscles of the chicken itself. This chicken lectin is going to have you on fire. In the, this is physical. We've gone back to physical now. It's going to have you on fire when you eat the chicken. Chicken should be avoided for all bees. And if you're black, that might be a little hard for you. But maybe you could go into the turkey lane. Because the turkey got a wing, the, tur the, the turkey got neck, you know, the turkey got, you know, the breast. So just, just flip the animal over to avoid the inflammation in your body, right? The turkey for a bee is neutral. On the meal plan, they have highly beneficial meats for the bees. 
And, you know, I'm not really a meat eater. I call out one of them being lamb. You know, they got them lamb chops. Those are highly beneficial for bees. Lamb chops. You got to find them, though. And you probably not at Walmart. You might have to go to the international market to find them things, you know. Like, you know, because the Asians, they got all, they got everything from the rooter to the tutor over there. So maybe you could go to the Asian market. But there's a plethora of other um, meats on your meal plan. The link is in my bio if you want the full list. But you definitely got to avoid pork and you got to avoid ham too. Well, well, pork is ham.